and welcome to your Health, Wealth, Happiness program. I'm your host, Dr. Sadiq. Today we have a very important topic to discuss, and that is about weight loss and how to maintain it. Uh, we have a wonderful person with us, and her name is Amber Sheikh. She has done it. She has lost from size 12 to size 6, and she maintained it for a whole year. Let's see how she did it. Let's make yourself comfortable and be with us. Hello, Amber. How are you doing? Good. I'm great. Thank you. Thank and you for having tell me. Tell us your wonderful story, how you did that. Well, it happened a couple of years ago when I was feeling very sluggish, lack of energy, bloating, and you know, I just feel like I keep gaining weight. So I was a size six when I had my youngest, and then I went eight, then 10, then 12, and I thought, okay, something's got to be done. So I went to see a nutritionist. I did a 12-week program. I lost weight, felt great, but then I, within months, I gained it all back because I wasn't maintaining it. I started eating a lot of carbs again, a lot of sugar. So then I went to another nutritionist, and this was last year. It was my New Year's resolution was to, okay, this time I'm going to lose weight and discipline myself and make sure I maintain it. So then I uh, went to another nutritionist. It was great. So what I did was I combined the information I got from both nutritionists mm -hmm. and made my own plan as that's to how really, to lose weight. That's <laughs> really good because if, we, if somebody's telling you a lot of information mm -hmm. and it is very hard to bring it to your own lifestyle, so you actually changed your lifestyle and made your own manual, right? Exactly, yes. How, so tell us more about that, what, what you did and what you, you did not do it. Yes, yeah, so there were a bunch of lists of do's and don'ts, mm -hmm. mostly don'ts, what not to eat and what not to do and what to eat and, you know. So I started um, with, the first tip is that I can tell the audience is, Drinking lots of water. That is so important. That's as you know as a doctor, I'm sure absolutely. that drinking water is very good. It's great for your energy, metabolism, absolutely. you know. I would uh, add here to all the people who are listening is that at least everyone should drink two liters of water. Two mm -hmm. liters. So have a pitcher of water next to you wherever you are, at work, at home, and drink it every single day because your kidneys will be flushed and you will be very healthy and Amber will tell us more about uh, that, that what other things uh, along with water did help her. Absolutely. So um, the both nutritionists mentioned drinking um, about water, how much to drink, like if you're 150, which is what mm -hmm. I was, um, and in order to lose weight, you have to drink half of your weight in ounces. So if I'm 150 pounds, I would have to drink 75 ounces of water. That sounds like a lot, but you know, you 75 get 75 ounces. 75 ounces of water. Mm -hmm. If you're 150 pounds, mm. you drink half of your weight in ounces. And it helps flush the system, um, as you said. And um, also I have a little simpler formula for yeah. everyone 2,000 liters. Because if I give them 2,000 liters, uh, two, two liters, two yeah. liter, um, 2,000 cc or ml. Yeah. Um, so it's easy. So people, sure. instead of two liter, they might drink one liter, mm -hmm. but I think your formula is absolutely. For me, it worked for me. Yeah. Everybody is very good, very I, good. I feel like it worked for me. Um, I wasn't as hungry because I was so mm. full of water, but you have to make sure you don't drink water after seven, obviously, because if you mm. sleep at 10, like I do, I try to sleep 10-ish, 11-ish. Make sure you don't eat or drink anything for at least three hours before you sleep, and that helped me lose weight. So. So Did they recommend the warm water or the cold water? That I was going to get to that <laughs> next. Not just water, but when you get up in the morning, first thing people like to do is get a cup of tea mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. coffee, right? So one of the don'ts is no caffeine. So what I had to How do... How I would live with that. I know. <laughs> and I said, you can do it. Just try it. It's going to be torture first, okay. first week only, but you'll get used to it. And you have to discipline yourself. And what you do, here's a trick. Like I have hot water in the mornings. Yes. And I'll put cardamom or oh. cinnamon in it wow. without the tea bag like you're having tea mm. no tea bags no herbal no decaf either because yeah. you know decaf is a little yeah. tricky it can be caffeinated so i would have hot water in the morning and pretend because i'm used to drinking tea or coffee in the morning i have hot water put cardamom or cinnamon in it flavor it pretend like you're having tea that's really a so good trick for the <laughs> audience too i would start doing that let's do it together okay what else what else okay the do's there's a very small mm -hmm. list of do's what <laughs> else don't don't, don't was like um no caffeine. No caffeine and no, no carbs. No carbs. For okay. 12 weeks, no okay. carbs. For 12, 12 weeks 12 only. Weeks. All right. I can do that. <laughs> it is hard. It's going to be hard the first okay. week, but you can do it and your body gets used to it. You don't feel like having carbs the next week or okay. so. So it is going to be a struggle initially because I was used to having smoothies. You think smoothie is healthy, but for me mm. it wasn't. 
and part of it is because of the yogurt. Mm. No dairy. No dairy. No dairy oh. except organic eggs. Okay. And um, you can have maybe almond milk to make up for okay. the lack of calcium. Okay. And you can have organic butter. So oh, that's, that's really good. That really helped a lot because it was very hard. So I would get up in the morning, have my hot water with lemon or hot water with the uh, cardamom mm -hmm. and cinnamon. And then if I have time, I would make myself one egg, don't want to push it with two eggs, mm -hmm. one organic egg, scrambled usually because I have to eat it with a fork. No carbs, so I can't have toast with it. Oh, wow. So I would put a little bit of organic butter in my pan. I have mm -hmm. a cute little small pan, <laughs> enough for one egg. I would make a scrambled eggs real quick, eat it with a fork, and then I'm, I'm done for breakfast. Oh, wow. So for audience, you know, you egg is very good, and also the, with butter and some organic, bread. Yeah. Organic. No bread. No, no bread. bread. No, no sorry, no bread. So no carbs for twelve weeks. Okay. Yeah, and then after that, if you don't have time for eggs, you just have hot water. You should not skip breakfast, as you know. Mm. Um, if you're in a hurry, have like a low glycemic protein shake. Okay. Now, this is tricky because you can't have milk, right? Not even organic milk, but you can have organic almond milk instead, which is just as much calcium, not, if not even more calcium than the regular milk. So I would have organic almond milk with okay. a, just a teaspoon of peanut butter. Now I know peanut butter is not, some people have allergies, so mm -hmm. if not, don't have the peanut butter. If you do have allergies, don't have peanut butter, obviously. Peanut does have some sugar in it. Mm -hmm. So just a teaspoon of organic peanut butter, mm -hmm. banana. Banana is good? Yes, just one banana or half, half banana would be ideal, but I know you want it a little sweeter, so you probably put one banana. <laughs> Um, and almond milk, peanut butter, organic peanut butter, and banana. Blend it up, mm -hmm. and that's that'll help eliminate. I mean, it's not gonna if you're addicted to caffeine, um, it's gonna be hard, but it'll help with the cravings that you have for caffeine. I think it's really very very healthy. Yeah. Uh, everyone knows it. Audience knows it. We know it. Yeah. Uh, it's only you. We have to change the, our habits. Exactly. And once we change it, it's very, and that initial point mm -hmm. is very difficult, but once uh, yes. you do it, then, and it's so healthy, Absolutely. what you're telling us. Yeah. So and, and the most important part is the protein, which I don't think I mentioned, is a protein shake, so you have to have low glycemic no. protein mm -hmm. in it. Um, you can get it online anywhere, and um, if, you, if you're having chocolate cravings, like sometimes I do, have a chocolate protein, but make sure it's low That's glycemic. That's really good. It's yeah. not like uh, really starving from yeah. the good and then stuff. You might not, after that, you might not even feel like eggs. You, I mean, e eating eggs every day would be too much. So you can just have protein shake and you're done with breakfast. I, I like one organic egg every day. Mm -hmm. uh, what I, egg does is it also adds the vitamins mm -hmm. because the egg yolk has the best vitamins. True. So white is very good. Everybody knows that it has a, a lot of uh, protein in it, but yeah. egg yolk has lots of vitamins, which and are really good, good for it's us. Good cholesterol, yes, right? exactly, yeah. it's good. Yeah. So what else? Okay, so another do is have lean organic lean meat mm -hmm. or lean and uh, not no red meat. That's a don't. Even the goat. No red meats for twelve weeks. Even not goat, even goat meat that I love. No it. red meat. I know for twelve weeks only. Then oh, you can go back to slowly <laughs> eating red meats. But okay. for the twelve weeks, no red meat. Um, only chicken and turkey. Organic, lean, tur lean turkey, or chicken. chicken. Yes. Uh, how about fish? Definitely. Okay. Seafood is allowed. Se okay. Yes. And okay. when you cook it, uh, most likely try not to fry it. Okay. You can um, steam your vegetables. Okay. You can bake your seafood or grill it. Grill always okay. tastes good. That's really um, That's ideal. Add a little olive oil over in it. Um, you can cook in ghee. How about some salt and pepper? Uh, yeah. Okay. Salt and pepper, try to get organic. Organic spices mm -hmm. is the best. Um, because it the bother. My stomach is very sensitive. So for me, I have to have everything organic. Absolutely, because other mm -hmm. sometimes they put dyes or colors yes, in, the, exactly. in, the, uh, in the spices. So yeah, so no dyes. Mm -hmm. That's also no processed mm -hmm. foods. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of no's. Oh. <laughs> but there are a lot of do's also. <laughs> a lot of do's. You can have no. um, steamed vegetables uh -huh. or baked uh, seafood, baked fish, grilled fish. Okay. Have uh, Make yourself a um, turkey burger minus the buns. Minus the buns. <laughs> so Make it taste good. Add avocado to it. Add uh, dressing, your own dressing that you can make. Healthy, no, with olive oil. Yes, uh, add a little olive oil. You can add other o oils, no vegetable oil and no canola oil. Any other oils are fine, like almond oil, walnut okay. oil. Ghee that we use is yeah. fine. Before That's kind of a butter. Ghee is a okay. butter. Uh, we use it. It's a different term yeah. in our language, but it's a butter, mm -hmm. pure butter, actually. 
Grapeseed oil is mm -hmm. fine. The only oils that are not good is um, canola and vegetable. Canola, okay. I think so the best I, uh, I think is uh, also coconut oil is very coconut good. Coconut oil is yeah. very good. That too, yes. And, uh, and I forgot to mention coconut milk. You can drink that. That's, that's, that's better than the regular milk. Did you do exercise also with that? Yes. Or you just only was focusing on the diet? Oh, yes. No, no, no. You have to work out as well. That's very important. Of course, food is the most important mm -hmm. part of weight yeah. loss. Um, but at least 10% if not more is has to do with how you that you're working out getting in shape suppose people like uh, working people or working moms or they don't have enough time w w we'll hear what type of workout you do mm -hmm. but uh, I'm talking about myself I don't get time at mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in my busy schedule so what I would do I'll make myself my workout is taking stairs in the hospital exactly seven floors sometime don't I'll take the elevator don't I don't <laughs> take that I'll park my car a little further down mm -hmm. so I have few extra steps and then uh, whatever time I find I'll just do the house or you know put the dishes in do some mopping mm -hmm. and cleaning that also gives you yes. energy and and work done yes. but a uh, lot of time people don't have time to do workout mm -hmm. but let us know what what type of workout you did well that's exactly what I would do like I would if I don't have time to go to the gym then you just walk Okay. You walk to the grocery store, pick up those bags, pretend they're your weights, and go That's home and it. walk home. So um, every day you would do every day, at recommend people to do every day yes. workout? Every day at least half hour. Every day half hour. At least. Do something. Cardio, okay. low impact. I never, I'm not a runner. I'm not okay. into running. I would just walk. Walk. Um, or weights. Weightlifting two, three times a week is enough. You could do weightlifting. You could take a car um, weightlifting classes, okay. which is great. Um, so that's what. Or I'm you can pick up the grocery bags. Pick up exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what else? Uh, workout half an hour at least at every least, day. Yeah. Um, walking, you said, yes. or do the cardio or some light weights, heavy weights, depending Low on. Low impact cardio, mm -hmm. or um, you don't need to run. Okay. Um, I would also recommend to the audience when you are doing the weights and you get some uh, coaching or classes or mm -hmm. some recommendation from from the experts so yes. you don't want to hurt yourself because I did it once so I'm very cautious so yeah. you have somebody has to teach you how yeah. to move how to pick up how to that's very very important that's true so I, I would take classes at the gym yeah, yeah that would be great. that's actually very mm -hmm. somebody um, will tell you exactly your body mm -hmm. should be doing or you have to be gentle do one step at a time instead of doing heavy work at, mm -hmm. at all all of a sudden mm -hmm. so tell us uh, what about I heard some detox and what what does that happen? yes initially that was tough um, first you have to prepare for detoxing first of all um, let me tell you you can detox at least three to four times a year well mm -hmm. at the maximum four mm -hmm. times a year mm -hmm. um, so you first have to prepare for detoxing so the first two days you can only have veggies mm -hmm. and protein shake. That's the first two days. After that, you're kind of prepared. So the next three days, you're having nothing but lemon water with a little bit of about a couple of ounces of pure organic maple syrup. Now, as you know, as a doctor, you need yeah. a little sugar. Yes, yeah. you know. So first two days, um, you're vegetable. Vegetables and protein shake. Protein only. shake, only for two days. For two days. And the third day is so lemon water. To detox. Prepare. Okay. And the next three days, you're having a 32 ounce bottle. If you can get that, that's great. The bigger the bottle, the better. You add mostly water, add about five to six lemon, lemons, get lemons and squeeze it. So you have lemon juice in there. And you have about a couple of ounces of pure maple syrup. So you don't faint. That's you it, need, all day. You need the um, <laughs> all day. sugar. Two of those. Two of those. A day. And in between, have water. So that you Audience for goal. audience, make a note of it. First two days, vegetable and the protein shakes. Yes. And the next three days, lemon water with uh, some organic, organic maple syrup and um, lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yeah. Le well, you already said lemon water. Yes. So but uh, days, uh, yeah. I would add here for the people who have uh, problems, medical problems mm -hmm. like diabetes, high blood pressure, or some other kidney problems. So they have to consult their doctors Absolutely. before they uh, follow any of this diet because mm -hmm. this isn't. All the diets are not for everyone, so True. they have to consult with your doctor and then follow. True. So you have two of those 32 ounce bottles, and then in between you have water, regular water. You can add lemon or cucumber for mm -hmm. flavoring if you're tired of water. Make sure you don't drink anything after seven. Oh, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Keep getting up in the middle of the night. You know. So if you sleep at 10, 
stop drinking after seven. So that's for three days. And then after that, you go back to two days. So you have five days so far. You have two more days, mm -hmm. right? So it's a whole week of detox. Okay. So after that, you go back to the two days of eating vegetables, mm -hmm. steamed vegetables or raw vegetables, okay. not fried or grilled. And then have it and have protein shakes. That's so how, uh, how do, weren't you getting hungry? No appetite. How did you do that with the was handle hard. your appetite? Again, initially it's always hard, but it amazingly, um, don't work out. Of course, unless mm -hmm. you can do mm -hmm. maybe light workout like a yoga or something, mm -hmm. Pilates, mm -hmm. yoga, something okay. light. So definitely don't do cardio or anything crazy like that. Gentle Water walk, detoxing. maybe gentle walking. You know, um, so yeah, that's definitely not recommended. Um, so. First day is very hard. Mm -hmm. You will be tired. Um, you'll be craving food. The next day, actually, believe it or not, I had more energy. Because I, I think body I'm gets eating. used to it. And yeah. we, we actually have lots of uh, fat, like I have a lot of fat. Yeah. So that burn and that helped, the, that helped yeah. the body. And because of the less, well, you've, you've, you're detoxing, right? Getting rid of the toxins and you're mm. happier and you're more energized. Mm. You'll feel it. The, the main thing is the discipline on the first day initially yes. it's going to be hard how, how was your family taking it because obviously if you were cooking food and now you're not cooking food for mm. your family how did your family uh, played a role in this whole venture well thank god they were so supportive very encouraging i mean once in a while they would have a chocolate chip cookie and not <laughs> let me know i'd find out of course <laughs> uh, they would sneak in a chocolate chip cookie or two um they tried to eat with me healthy mm -hmm. and i thought it's i don't want to be a hypocrite if i'm eating healthy i want to make sure my kids yeah. and my husband are eating healthy but after a couple of days they were craving hamburgers and mac and cheese and pizza and whatnot so i would make a lot of the food for That's them good. By that time, after a couple of weeks, I don't even feel like eating mm -hmm. a hamburger or mac and cheese. So this course so was for 12 was weeks? Attempted. 12 yes, weeks you did it? For 12 weeks, religiously Straight. did it. Oh yes. my God. No sugar, no carbs, no red meat. Um, That's tough, Amber. Yeah. It's it, like it really was tough initially. No dairy except for eggs and butter and organic. I'll try to do it. Yeah. How about you guys? <laughs> <laughs> let's audience here, uh, uh, I think let's note it down some of the steps and let's see that how we can maintain it. How did you uh, now for, a, this happened uh, last year, mm -hmm. so for the whole year, how did you maintain that? Yes, that's the tough part. Mm. Losing weight is not as tough as maintaining. So mm. what I did was I'm still you know, um, thank God I'm still a size six. Yeah, so that's good. <laughs> I went back to slowly eating carbs, mm -hmm. one step at a time. Like for in the mornings, I would have maybe one toast with an egg, with one egg okay. instead of two toasts. Okay. Definitely not. I didn't want to push it. Um, slowly, uh, maybe one cup of coffee a day if okay. you really feel like coffee. You okay. know. Um, so slowly, slowly, uh, drinking lots of water. Still working How about out. eating rice and bread and... Yes, as long as you know how much... Because I was used to not eating carbs, right? Mm. So in order to maintain it, it didn't bother me. Mm. Like I would just have one toast maybe in a, throughout the day. Or the next day, instead of toast, I would have rice mm. the next day. Or okay. brown rice or white rice, you know. Um, so brown rice. Never overdo it. Everything in moderation. You can eat whatever you want in moderation. Dessert, you can have a dessert day once a week. Mm. Um, I think I agree with you. Moderation mm -hmm. is the key. Yes. Uh, yes, it's a kind of a boot camp, mm -hmm. the 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, maintenance is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, I give tips to my patients mm -hmm. that uh, before they start any meal, mm -hmm. they should have one or two glasses of water. Yes. So it will fill up their stomach. True. So their appetite will be now 50%. True. So now you have uh, one third of your stomach uh, uh, is like you fill up with water, mm -hmm. then one third you eat mm -hmm. healthy, and then one third you leave it free. If you get the first burp, stop eating. That means that you have to leave that air in yes, the stomach. you have to which leave a little behind. Behind. Yeah. So that was a good thing. Before I didn't know when I was full. Now I know when I'm full. I could actually, I'm like, I know when to stop eating. Because sometimes when the food is so delicious, you just you can't just resist, you just want to eat, it's in your head. Yes. You know, especially when you eat carbs, you want to eat more carbs. So now I knew my limit. I knew, okay, that's it, one toast and I'm done. Absolutely, it's all mind plays games yes. with our body. So mind is our pilot or mind is our driver. So we have to tune our mind. Uh, I also advise my patients that when they start eating, they should make a plate and look at the plate and then see, mm -hmm. I'm going to eat that, how I'm going to burn this. Yeah. If you think we can burn it, then eat. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, cut the plate into or half. Maybe get a small plate. Smaller plate. Use a is, lunch plate yes. instead of a dinner plate. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That's another trick. Mm -hmm. 
certain little little things if we bring it to our daily um, lifestyle mm -hmm. instead of uh, making a big changes but only little change at a time one step at a time that will yes. be helpful yes so Absolutely. we were talking about that family was very supportive and they they also did they lose weight um not exactly they never had to worry i was the biggest one in the family so um but they helped me by encouraging me hiding all the sugary stuff <laughs> and junk foods you know or they would eat it or they and they would actually eat the healthy foods whatever i made yeah. they would eat it after a couple of weeks uh, they wanted to go out order pizza or chinese mm -hmm. or i would make spaghetti or something and i won't eat it but i had enough to like in my uh, i had enough discipline to resist oh, so i wasn't in the mood for spaghetti cuz i got my body got used to it so amber will continue talking uh, to you in our next episode sure. and i okay. hope you enjoyed our today's episode Stay tuned for the next one. In the meanwhile, stay healthier, wealthier, and happier.